Hey M babies. Welcome back to my channel. Let's take a look at our weight loss guru throughout the years. You know, eating habits being changed and you know Yeah. All that bunch of stuff. Yeah. Doing a thing where I weigh in daily. I know a lot of people disagree with that. I did weigh in today and I was up 0.8 pounds and Becky was down 0.6 and I think it's because again I did have the flu. I puked everything out of me. All water. Everything that could possibly be inside of me besides organs. Now that I'm back feeling better and I was eating I ate under 1800 calories yesterday. Had a ton of water. I think I'm just kind of holding on to it right now. It is a little bit discouraging because back in the day I could lose literally three pounds in a day. Okay. And now that it's so different, it kind of is discouraging. And I know a lot of people are like, yeah, Berlin, don't weigh yourself daily. I'll, I'll get the hang of it. Things will get better. I will lose weight. I'm not going to be discouraged. I already got my Fitbit on, ready to rumble. The fact that I'm almost 500 pounds is like... What the fuck? Excuse my language. It's just, it's very eye-opening and I realize I need to be strict with myself. What I'm gonna be doing is for my proteins, I'm gonna be eating tilapia and chicken, ground turkey, shrimp. For my carbs, I'm gonna be getting that from just like some fruit in the morning with a little smoothie that I like to have. It actually gives me some energy, let me tell you. Anyways, I'm gonna eat my food and then Go exercise, Blech. and from veggies, but I'm also going to be eating brown rice and quinoa and sometimes some veggie pasta that I really, really enjoy, and this is super exciting. I know everyone knows I go out to eat every single day, but my goal is not to go out to eat a single time in January. I am to prepare every single one of my meals. I am taking out things like oils and cereals and junk and sweets and bread and cheese. I just don't need those things, so I'm going to be pretty much doing like a very clean eating and I'm just pumped about it. Anyways, I'm at KFC. I'm also going to be doing a lot more moving and that's why I got a Fitbit. My Fitbit is making it to where I do move more and it's making me pumped and excited and I just feel really good. Also, I'm going to be drinking a lot of water. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing as of now. Spoiler alert, she doesn't lose any weight. What are you making, babe? Yes, I am sitting down. My back hurts really bad. I wanted people to think I was healthy, even though I have unhealthy written all over me. Like, this is not good. <laughs> I'm making broccoli, chicken, and potatoes. That's sound, though. God. I know. But I don't like cutting raw chicken on um, wood, and that's the only other one that's clean right now, or plastic, because it, so... <laughs> If it was me giving advice, after you cut chicken, don't touch anything. Wash your hands. Look at that broccoli. Doesn't that look good? What I do is I put lemon. I put lemon in the broccoli and it tastes really good. None of this crap. I had a really, really bad week. Yeah. I binged uh, this last week probably four times. Um, I overate every single day. And I know exactly why I did it. I have no excuses besides I'm here to be honest and say that I did do it. And this week's weigh-in breaks my heart. It's because I can't breathe. <laughs> no. Um, we haven't been tracking. We've been eating out on the daily. Um, I eat candy on the nightly. Um, bags of hot Cheetos, bags of Ruffles here. Things are about to change and they're about to change for the better. Before I say what's going on, I just want to say that there has been so many people who have stuck with me for years during this crazy, like, chaotic thing that we call YouTube and Amberlynn's, like, weight loss journey, which it's been nothing but a weight gain journey. We all know this. I have done Weight Watchers countless times. I have counted calories. I have 
try to be vegan i try to be vegetarian i have used apps like my fitness pal fujicate lose it i've tried fasting simply just drinking a gallon of water a day hoping that'll you know flush out the weight i have failed and i have failed and i have failed countless times like who's gonna listen to me look at me you know that's just how it goes that smells like coleslaw if i'm gonna be 100 percent honest okay twinkies back there do you guys see her <sighs> she's wishing she could have some kale salad even though she already ate Ooh, that sounds like shots fired of course. not gonna lie it tastes like coleslaw now, my favorite part. See, you can eat out and be mindful about what you're choosing. As is. But if you guys are like very against potatoes, aka hash browns, I'm not against them, but a healthier alternative is to make zucchini and squash like that and put it with the scrambled eggs so it feels like it's hash browns and eggs, but really it's not. <laughs> Just a smart little alternative. You see my face now? You guys, I can't breathe. So obviously I'm too fat for it, so. The first thing, my first meal, I was gonna cook something, but I think I'm gonna keep it simple, and I'm gonna have a pre-made salad. Salad. Yeah. on, has spinach, hard cooked eggs, Monterey Jack and Colby cheese, crispy chow mein noodles, didn't even notice that. Dried cranberries, almonds, with a sweet onion Dijon vinaigrette, so. That's gonna be my first meal. I just got like one meal because I'm kind of on a diet, so. So the dish is complete. This is everything that I made all on one plate. And that is a lot of food. I did try it. Super delicious, honestly. It is delicious. I probably prefer this over regular fried rice. I don't care what anyone says. Apples taste like candy. And for those of you following calories like I am, in my messy handwriting, I track down all the calories for you guys. If you're curious, um, the Pam is zero calories, cauliflower 80, onion 44, garlic 3, peas 25, corn 25, I did not use full servings of either of these, two eggs is 140, green onion 10, seasoning zero, the aminos and sriracha was 13, carrots 10, so that came out to 350 calories for all of this. So today we're gonna do like a what I eat today moment. Um, I have lost over 100 pounds now um, in about 14 months, so what? I think that's pretty amazing. So I wanna let you guys know that I'm not like counting calories. I don't have any like rules for myself. I know what you're getting at. Just like simply don't binge, um, eat normal, people portions if you will and like yeah so i'm about to make my first meal i think i'm gonna have a salad so i'll show you guys what's gonna go into that we could do a little well, at least she's still 70 pounds lighter than you it doesn't matter she's still morbidly obese what i'm eating situation for that meal so let's do it so um My fitness pal it says it's 455 calories which in my opinion is perfect for one of my meals my next clip I'm gonna show you right here days one and two so as you can see I stayed the exact same weight and the reason for that is because last night for dinner I completely fell off plan I ended up having ice cream rice and um, Asian trail mix had a binge. 
Oh, yeah. Biggest regret this year, by far, it's not losing. <laughs> it's not losing a really big chunk of weight, which is what I always plan on every single year. And unfortunately, I failed another year. It's because I can't breathe. <laughs> no. Um. So I did like a meal plan last night for the next three days, so I can like just stay on track with that. Like, I have all my meals, snacks planned with the calories, the times I'll be eating them. So while I was in the shower, my girlfriend made me scrambled eggs, exactly how I like them, with um, Mexican shredded cheese, two turkey bacons, exactly how I like them. Cooked, 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 cooked. Unbelievable. Which I was super happy about. That means I lost 3.4 pounds. 3.4 pounds, yay, round of applause. You wish, and you know what your problem is? And the problem to this day is that you all wish you could wiggle and move like this. I wasn't trying, I wasn't trying to be healthy. It kind of just came off because I was trying just to eat less. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one, bye.